there should be an option that says this meeting is being recorded. Okay, awesome. So everybody can put themselves on mute so that we don't have any feedback. And then Tyson, take it away. Sure. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick. All right. I'm Tyson, uh, Raquel gave me a brief introduction. So I'm BFD's Community Immersion Engagement Manager. So I'm pretty much just responsible to make sure your guys' program is running as successfully as possible. So like she mentioned, um, this is the Merchant Onboarding and Engagement Phase 1 for the, uh, the Week 1 webinar. So jumping into it, we'll be going over kind of the whole onboarding process with getting new merchants on board, getting the current participating merchants up to speed if you know, the program kind of slowed down a bit just to make sure everybody's on board and knows what's happening. Training the merchants and lastly, making the program work for you. So again, that's trying to make it as, as successful as possible. So first, I'm going to run through this kind of quickly just because this is the relaunch program. And I assume a lot of you guys have, you know, you're familiar with the portal, the back end and how to kind of upload all the different merchants. So you upload a CSV of your merchants here. So like I said, you guys should know what this looks like from your portal. Add new locations as needed through this button here. You could receive new inquiries from the sales page and incentivize them with sponsorships. So say you have a couple of businesses who may be on the fence of whether or not they want to participate in the program. If you can have some sort of sponsorship or kind of get sponsorship from multiple different people at once or organizations, that way you can let these merchants who are kind of on the fence know, hey, we have say $10,000 going out for a BOGO to launch this program. You know, if you're not participating in this program, you're not able to receive any of those funds. So don't you want to be a part of it? So kind of continuing. So if they wanted to become a part of that program, you could send them to the bottom of the sales page where they'll see the become a participating business little container of the website. They just click apply to join. It'll send you an email and then you can decide whether or not you want to add them into the program. So to run the activation card. So, of course, it has to be um, on every POS machine that has a different ID number. So um, you can't actually participate in the program without running this activation card. Now, if you have a situation where you're a you know, cafeteria or something like that with multiple POS systems, just contact support at EFT.com and we'll send you those ac additional activation cards. You now, sometimes we have communities who um, their merchants may be dragging their feet a little bit. So what you can do is hit the concrete, go door to door to these businesses, bring a tablet or something with you. Um, and then in that case, you can run their activation card for them. So within the manage locations uh, part of the portal on the right for that merchant, you'll see the link to be able to uh, go to that activation card to run it for each particular merchant. Now for the current merchants, you know, we kind of talked about onboarding new ones. So mainly you're probably dealing with the current merchants and how to bring them back up to speed, make them engage with the program to make it more successful. So you want to reactivate them by sending them a reminder email. Just say, hey, this program is still running. It's something we're doing. You could inform them, hey, we're doing this relaunch as well. If there's any kind of sponsorships or anything like that that you're currently doing for the relaunch, you know, inform them of that so they know this is a way that they can kind of gather a little bit more revenue. So you train new hires on redemptions. So kind of remind these uh, merchants, send them the emails for the YouTube video, how to take these redemptions on the community cards. So all of their employees are aware of how to run these redemptions for the cards. You could refer them to the templated materials to help them market the program more. Um, and then lastly, the merchant engagement program. So Raquel mentioned this briefly. So this is really great because kind of in this situation um, for this webinar, we're teaching you guys how to make the program you know, work a lot better. It's a whole relaunch program. With the merchant engagement program, we're personally reaching out to each one of your participating merchants on the program and coaching them up on how to make this program work as best as possible for them. So um, in that, we're sending them multiple emails, different resources, custom branded newsletters, and uh, social media material where they can go repurpose and post it on their own social medias. Um, so in you guys being a part of this relaunch, that's offered to you completely free. So you could just shoot us an email and we'll enroll your merchants into that program as well. So actually training the merchants. So we advise making the redemption process a part of their onboarding procedures for new hires. So the same manual POS entry is the cards, how they're redeemed. Uh, make that a part of each merchant that's on the, uh, on the program, a part of their onboarding process for new hires. Now, if you want, um, you can schedule a merchant webinar with us to get them up to speed and to answer any questions. 
So a lot of times small businesses are you know, hesitant to move forward on something if they haven't heard about it or spoken about it. So they can engage with us on a, mer a merchant webinar, answer any questions, validate who we are, and just you know make sure they feel comfortable moving forward on the program. Um, also encourage them to promote it themselves. And in doing so, they're promoting it for redemptions, yes, for themselves, but also it's re uh, promoting for consumer spending on the cards as well and um, the consumers buying the cards as well. Now, we also encourage you guys to email quarterly with different training materials for these merchants, just to make sure you know they're nurtured on the program, they know what they're doing. And if it slipped their mind, they're training up any new hires on how to take these redemptions and then inform them of the benefits. So it is a cool program, you know, it builds a community, but there's also numbers to it. So um, on average, 51% of um, card holders will go visit new locations uh, based on a study we did in Washington where, so this shows that it's not just, you know, the same customers that have already been frequenting my store, just using a different payment method. It's new customers and new foot tra traffic coming into my uh, location. Now, additionally, there's an average um, over expenditure of $30 for each card. So with that, that means, you know, we can track the amount that's being spent on the cards for these merchants, but there's an additional amount for the over expenditure on each card as well. So it's just extra revenue that they're pulling in. So promoting the program, we'll talk about this a little bit more in the uh, week three webinar. So I'll just breeze through it real quick. Social media, you know, basic promotion, promote the program over posts, uh, the newsletters. So you guys with your um, organization's newsletter, but also the merchants. Now on the organization, you guys, the chambers, main streets, downtowns, whatever the case may be, link back to the purchase page, as well as the business websites, linking back to that purchase page as well. Um, look for local influencers and community leaders. So a lot of times there may be one or two businesses in your area that, you know, they're the leaders of the community. They're the ones who, you know, you kind of look up to, get them on board with the program first, and you'll see that all the other businesses follow suit. Now with the local influencers, um, I'm actually from Akron, Ohio. So we have like a eat and dine Akron influencer. And so they go around and travel around the area, dine at different locations, post about it, and they gather huge followings. So a good way to kind of promote the program is find that person and that influencer for your area and talk to them about a collaboration of some sort. And of course, in doing this, you're promoting the program, um, but you're also promoting these redemptions. So if I'm a merchant, you know, posting on my social media, hitting my newsletter, I'm telling them, hey, this is a cool program. We're a part of it, but also a little bit on the selfish side. But of course, um, I'm promoting for redemptions for them to come into my location and, um, you know, redeem their cards here. Um, so for bulk orders, uh, I believe that'll be next week with Pat. He'll talk to you guys a little bit more with it. Um, so on next week's web webinar, excuse me. So these are great for employers and organizations. So for patron accounts, we have a no e-delivery fee for bulk purchases. So there are a certain amount of requirements. You have to be a business, um, an LLC, an organization, something of that sort. You have to be spending over $1,000. Um, it has to be a gift or an award for your employees or members of some sort and we'll waive this e-delivery fee. Now, there's also different, um, you know, reduced or waive fees for other types of volume discounts over a certain amount. So we kind of just like to incentivize those bulk orders because it's further stimulating the community-wide adoption. So if I'm an employer or a member of some organization and I get a free $100 gift card, of course, I'm going to go spend it. And it's just in my head now that this is something that exists here and it's, you know, a program that I'm going to start engaging with in the future. Now, you should have also seen the uh, volume discount program uh, section on your website. So if somebody wanted to speak about that, you know, organization, a business, I could click more info and learn more there. Now, with your incentives and discounts, so you can offer um, featured merchant tabs on your sales page. So what this does is it will enable the, um, the merchants who would like to be a part of it to promote them themselves more so than the other people participating on the program and kind of hopefully you know get get them a higher chance of having more redemptions so that's something you could offer to your merchants and your merchants themselves can also offer different discounts freebies limited offers and exclusive deals specifically for people redeeming these cards um, now something to keep in mind is th these promotions that and incentives that you kind of give out in your community they should be based around bulk orders or large influxes to the program. So if there's a BOGO deal or a big bulk order of say like $10,000 on the cards, that's when you want to start promoting or doubling down on your promotion, just because that's when you see a large amount of funds out there and you know you want to start using it while, while it's there. 
Now, quite frankly, the program does give you what you put into it. So we've seen communities do really well. And we've seen communities do really bad. And one of the main commonalities is that the merchants who are, you know, getting out there, they're marketing the program, they're talking to the customers about it, the organizers who are, you know, regularly hosting BOGOs, sponsorships, talking and promoting the program as well. Those are the communities who do that much better. So it's about a community-wide adoption. It's not just you organizers really pushing and trying to make this work well. It's not just about the businesses who want it to work well. It's about, you know, the people who are sponsoring it, you guys organizing it, the merchants on board to make it work well as a whole for your entire community. So kind of quick overview of what I just went through, um, onboarding and gaining new merchants, training them up on the program and promoting it to make sure it works for you and your participating merchants. So that's pretty much all I have um, for the merchant onboarding and engagement. So I'd like to open it up for any kind of questions that you guys might have on the, the program. Is everybody all good? No questions? So if you wanna share um, any challenges that you have when onboarding merchants or anything like that, I know that when we ask communities kind of what the hardest thing has been, it, the, in, the common across the board is getting merchants excited, getting merchants trained. Um, obviously having a BOGO or a bulk purchase is a great way to stimulate them and get them excited because there's gonna be funds out there, but offering, for example, the first 50 merchants that sign up, giving them $25 gift cards or $50 gift cards, stuff like that also really helps. Or like Tyson said, getting an influencer merchant that kind of, you know, gets his friends on board, his or her friends on board also helps as well, or somebody that everybody looks up to um, and everybody follows them. So there's other ways beyond also just getting a BOGO and a bulk purchase to get merchants excited. Um, does anybody have any questions or any experiences that they wanted to share? I know that one of the big ones is tap and pay. We are working on it. It should be available by next March. Um, and I know that's going to be a game changer. But if there's anything else or any experiences or anything that you want to share or ask, um, we're here for a few more minutes if anybody has any questions. I have a quick question. Yeah. yeah. Are we ever going to be able to get back to the um, having it on our cell phone? So you can have the gift on your cell phone. Right now, we can't send the gift cards via text message. It's not on our end. It was the Twilio thing, the server that we were using. We are working to get it back on text message. But if you get it via email, you can still open it on your phone. And the printed gifts actually have QR codes. So you can scan the QR code, and that lets you have the gift card on your phone. OK. Yes, now I, I knew that at the, the people that we have, I mean, we've got a, a, a robust system. and and. We saw a dip when you couldn't get it on your phone anymore, but that's fine. We've we've been trying to remedy that. So thank yeah, you. I'm sorry. We don't have a timeline on the text message thing, but I'll ask too because I know that that's a big one. Um, anybody? Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, let me let me ask a question. What what's the best practice? So what we're experiencing is is trouble signing up merchants, right? So we'll email them and sometimes call them and like they'll say yeah 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 and they'll get the info and we don't we don't see anything. So I guess what's the, now, of course, like we don't have a BOGO and, you know, yes, you can go visit in person and, and maybe I should consider doing that, but like, what's the best practice? Is it to, is it like phone call, email, multiple? I mean, like, you know, is there like a cadence in terms of how to get merchants to sign up? Yeah. So, I mean, every community is different. I know that it takes a lot of bandwidth to go door to door, but if they're being unresponsive, maybe again, going to the bigger merchants, the ones that everybody's gonna follow, going to visit them, it might be your best move. Um, if you, in your manage locations tab on the top right-hand side, there's a location report. You can run that and you can download it as a CSV. I sent it to you, Lee, I think. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, so that'll have all of the activation cards at the end in the last column, all of the links. So maybe you take a tablet or you print out the five businesses that you wanna visit, the bigger ones and get them on board. And, you know, I think explaining to them the benefits of the program and how if one business does well, all of the businesses do well, you know, it, it really helps benefit all of them. So maybe that those businesses can help you recruit or when the other smaller businesses see that so-and-so, the local pub, the local supermarket have signed up, they'll follow as well. So that would and be when, what I would recommend. And when, they, and when they're keying in the card, it's for the mm -hmm. lowest amount that they can do on their terminal. Or do they key in like 10 cents? Yeah. So 
some POS systems don't allow 10 cent transactions. They have a minimum of a dollar, so they can just key it in for a dollar. It doesn't matter if it gets declined. We'll still get the information we need. Okay. And and is it actually, um, is is the dollar, like, are they, they're not seeing the dollar. It's kind of like a dummy transaction. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's a, yeah. yeah. It's usually for 10 cents and we pay for the 10 cents, but they, they're not going to see the dollar. No. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Any, any other questions? I have a question. Yeah, of course, Michelle. So we've had a lot of trouble with um, getting the gift card to work. Mm -hmm. And that has turned a lot of merchants off. Is there any way to troubleshoot that where we can let the merchants know how, is there like a support thing or a way that they could call or somebody that they can reach out to? Because that's our biggest problem is the merchants a lot of times are not able to key in the number and they're bad mouthing it. And I, I can't get any mer any more merchants because all the merchants who have a problem say that there's no support. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we do have a support line. It's email support, but the average response time is three minutes. They're going to get an immediate response. Um, it's support at gifty.com. We have merchant training materials. You should have gotten them as part of the email one um, of the checklist. Email, if you don't have that, just email me and I'll send them to you separately. What I recommend to you, Michelle, and to everyone really, is that you email your mer your merchants quarterly um, to let them know, hey, you know, just keep this top of keep this top of mind, make sure to train your employees. The more they the more the gift card program is top of mind, the better, the better employees are going to be trained as well. We have a how to redeem document. Uh, it was part of this checklist that I sent you yesterday. Um, ideally merchants print that out or you print it out and you hand it to them and they can have it somewhere where all of the employees can see again, keeping it top of mind and keeping the employees trained because it works just like a MasterCard, So it shouldn't be an issue redeeming it, but if the employees aren't trained and if there's that kind of issue, then it becomes a problem. If there's a problem, you can tell them to email support at EFG.com for an immediate response. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Um, any other questions? Okay, awesome. So a few things. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. The link was in the email yesterday. If you don't have it, just email me, Raquel at yifshi.com, and we're set, we'll set something up. We can talk about this. We can talk about whatever you'd like. Next week, um, the webinar is going to be on bulk purchases and BOGOs and recruiting sponsors. Um, Yifshi's sales rep is going to be is going to be speaking. Um, it's good for you guys to get to know him because he's going to be the one that's going to be helping you guys get sponsors. If you have any contacts for local employers or people that could be interested in purchasing in bulk or sponsoring the program. Um, he can help you set up meetings, talk to them, pitch your program. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, email me at Raquel at .com or email Tyson at Tyson at .com. Um, Thank you guys for joining. Thanks everybody. Thank you.